Remember way back last time when I said we were wrapping up the series on authenticity? I lied. This time, I'm blaming Paula Dean for making it impossible to lay down the authentic content topic. I really thought she might have learned her lesson during the diabetes scandal. Apparently not. For those of you who've forgotten the particulars, here are some high points. Paula Dean is queen of high-calorie, high-fat, high-sugar content comfort foods like bacon-wrapped bacon with a glaze of lard and high-fructose corn syrup served between two sugar-glazed donuts. It may sound fabulous, but you eat enough of that stuff and they'll be plugging you directly into a wall socket every 10 minutes just to keep your heart beating. Sometime back, Ms. Dean found out she had diabetes and kept it a secret from her fans for three years. As her condition came to light, she cut a deal with a diabetes drug manufacturer, which, given the timing, made it look like she was helping people develop type 2 diabetes with one hand and offering them a cure with the other. Even if her motives were above board, her poor handling of the situation struck much of her audience as duplicitous, phony, inauthentic. She's now bungled her latest scandal and gets to watch the whole thing disintegrate right before her eyes. Paula Dean is an extreme example of what can happen when your believability, your authenticity, is compromised. I'm reminded of the Domino's Pizza Australia dust-up from earlier in the year. They ran a week-long social media campaign promising a game-changing announcement, the biggest in 20 years. At the end, they announced a new range of toppings. One disappointed customer posted a note on their Facebook page saying, Guess you guys at Domino's need to look up the definition of game-changer. Get it? You don't go around revving everyone's engine up and then pull the rug out from under them. Mixed metaphors aside, most folks don't like it. Hype is inauthentic and can cost you customers. Authenticity refers to the truthfulness of origins, attributions, commitments, sincerity, devotion, and intentions. And it's essential if you're going to do business online. Paula Dean's story is a cautionary tale. Don't let it happen to your brand. On the other hand, if you have examples of fractured authenticity, let us know. Just leave a comment on the blog or YouTube, and please subscribe if you like our stuff. Thanks for watching. Now get out and do something.